Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Back Chat. I'm Alice Broomfield and we have a packed show for you today with my two guests who will be discussing the issue of the Mars One space mission. But first, over to Heather with today's headlines. Good morning and welcome to today's headlines from around the world. An active volcano has been found buried one kilometre beneath the ice sheets of West Antarctica. Researchers from Washington University discovered the volcano by accident. Swarms of tremors were detected in January 2010 and February 2011 and ash found trapped in the ice suggests it's been active for 8,000 years. Researchers say that the volcano will definitely erupt in the future but can't be sure when. They say such an eruption would cause enough heat flow to melt a substantial part of the ice sheet. However, it would need to be an eruption that released 1,000 times more energy than a typical eruption to even breach the ice above the volcano. A sperm whale that washed up in Spain died after swallowing almost 17 kilos of plastic, most of it dumped by the greenhouses that supply Tesco, Waitrose and Sainsbury's. The 4.5 tonne whale was defeated by two dozen sections of the transparent sheeting used to cover the greenhouses. Only about 1,000 sperm whale are left in the Mediterranean and they feed near waters flooded by the greenhouse industry. Actors Tom Cruise and John Travolta were in attendance yesterday as thousands of Scientologists gathered in Clearwater, Florida for the dedication of their new $145 million cathedral. The new cathedral is 377,000 square foot and has been in construction for nearly 15 years. The opening of the building will mark the first time Scientologists have a place to practice the superpower programme developed by the re religion's founder L. Ron Hubbard in the 1970s. Many people of Clearwater are outraged at the disruption of the construction of this building caused. And that's today's Back Chat News. Back to you, Alice. Thanks, Heather. We're off for a short break now. When we come back, I'll be joined by my two guests who will be discussing the Mars One space mission. So stay tuned. Okay, let's go through them one more time. Night at the Museum 2. Uh-huh. Ice Age 3. Yeah. The A-Team. Got it. Marley and me. Uh, okay, what was the first one again? Ugh, Peanut Head. Ooh, yeah, let's watch that one. Which one? Peanut Head. Who's in it? Oh, you are. Win one of a million DVDs with our special sharing packs and make your movie night. Three shows you all want to watch. On at the same time, there's going to be a clash. But not when it comes to Virgin Media's TiVo box. Oh, no. You can record this. And these two. While watching one you recorded earlier. Clash over. And TiVo has enough space for as much as 500 hours of TV. Which we think is the best way to watch TV ever. But what do you think? There's more online. Last, the UK's number one toothbrush brand has finally developed a toothpaste that's as good as our brushes. New Oral-B Pro Expert Toothpaste is clinically proven to help protect all these areas your dentist checks most. New Oral-B Pro Expert, the toothpaste our brushes have been waiting for. Welcome back to Back Chat. With me today are Ross and Mikey just dis to discuss the pros and cons of the space mission Mars One the one-way ticket to Mars for six people with the intent of starting a new life on Mars. So what do you think, Ross? I think it's really good for the sheer fact that it allows the human race to expand ourselves. And at the minute, we are, we are trapped on this one planet. And I think we were, you know, made or born to go out and explore other planets and to colonise them and to make sure that we as a human race survive. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Mikey, you're shaking your head. What do you think on the matter? <sighs> you honestly think it's a good idea to go out there into the wide unknown and spread our seed around? Because that's worked well, of course, but... Uh, it's not as if colonising before has ended in genocide or, uh, you know, rape and pillage. But then again, you know, well, I know. We're not meant to go into space. Just because if we were meant to go into space, there would be oxygen there. And let's be honest, sending six people up isn't a good start. Because then again, just like where you're from, Easter House, it's got to be the most inbred cesspool of a environment ever. We, the last thing we need is to go ruin another planet. In but fact, if, if we we're not meant to leave this planet, then why is there other planets there? 
I mean, other planets are there for us to explore and to adventure and to colonise. If we were meant to go into these planets, there'd be oxygen on them. Let's put it that way. And plus, if we go out into these planets, we could run the risk of running into something. But then again, that's, that's assuming that something's not already here. I know these reptilians run the government. I know they control everything. And now they're just trying to expand their empire just so they can control even more. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be a part of this. This is stupid. This is nothing but... Oh, well, see, I don't believe that there are aliens. I believe that we are the one and only species on this planet and that we are the strong ones and we, we will always conquer if They've there is anything. Thinking that. And I just, I, just, I just believe that nothing is out there to destroy us and if there is anything, then it's been made for us to conquer and for us to own over and for us to be 100% um, rulers of them. You make it sound as if your dad was Alexander the Great. I'm sorry. You you think we just need to go out and, control, and conquer everything? No, we really don't. In fact, that's not the idea of it. I mean, if there is anything out there, which there might be, we need to stay as far away from it as possible. We need to stay in this. Like, again, we've ruined this one, so we might as well just stay in this one until it burns up. We've ruined one. Why go ruin another? See, I don't think we've ruined one. I think that's all been lies that we've been fed to as young people going, we've, we've destroyed these pla this planet. I don't think that. I think this planet is still strong and going and nothing is wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Have you seen the amount of pollution, the species we've killed? See, we've I ruined? think that's all fake. I think what they're doing is they're You're telling us we've destroyed the, these... Keep right, and they've kept um, it from them from ours from us. That's all we have time for today, guys. We run out of time, but that was really interesting hearing all your opinions. Join us at the same time tomorrow for back chat when we'll be having another heated discussion with two new guests. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>